We're talking about why traders fail with Stuart McPhee. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you, Tom. Well, many traders or people get into trading, they think uh, they concentrate on the strategy, how they're going to decide when to buy or sell, what kind of profit they're going to make, and they focus on that. But uh, the higher percentages we know from the statistics don't make it in the trading business. And you feel that's because of their lack of a plan. So explain what you go through when you're trying to get someone on the right track. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you've hit the nail on the head there. I think people are attracted to trading because clearly the money and how much money they can make. Um, therefore, they focus on probably the first decision they make in the whole trading process, and that's when to enter a trade. I mean, that's the first thing we need to do. Therefore, they focus on that. And I think they ignore other things at their peril. Clearly, a complete trading plan is three things, and there's nothing new here. There's the three M's. There's the mindset, uh, the, the money management, and the method. So many people focus on the method, and they really do ignore money management or the mindset and the psychology. Um, I think a lot of people recognize that the psychology is such an important part of what we do, but they probably don't accept it really as being such a vital part, and they worry about it later, and they focus so much on um, the method, the entry, the trading system. So my key message is, look, to be successful in trading, it doesn't matter who you are, you need to have a trading plan, and that trading plan must suit you. Every single consistently profitable trader out there has a trading plan. It works for them, it's right for them, and they use it every day, and they implement it every day, and they're very, very successful doing that. And you ask anyone who's failing, do you have a trading plan? Many will say, not really. Some will say, well, I think I do, but not really sure. The bottom line is, anyone who's successful does have one. Those who don't, generally, uh, the odds are they won't, uh, they won't succeed. So that's the reality. It's harsh, but that's the realities of trading. So you find the successful traders actually write this down before they take, make that entry into the market or exit before they establish. They have it clearly defined on paper, so to speak, so they can't, not just in their head where they can change it. Absolutely. Documented is the best. It gives us something tangible. It's here's a piece of paper. You can physically touch it. Here are my guidelines. Here are my rules. This is all I need to follow. And if I follow this, I'll be successful. You know, my odds have significantly increased. Um, if I gave this to someone else and paid them to just strictly follow that plan, chances are they would make money. So writing it down, documenting it, you know, that gives it something tangible, it gives it something real. But funny, something you should say that um, I think a lot of people, well, the majority of us starting out really don't have a plan. We start out, we make a lot of uh, intuitive decisions, we, we lose a lot of money, and then it's somewhere along the journey we work out, I think I need to perhaps go back and start from the basics again. Maybe this trading plan uh, is a little bit more serious and is a little bit more vital to our success. We don't do that at the beginning. We think we'll be okay. We make decisions every day of our life. We rely on instincts and intuition. Um, yeah, but at some point we need to have a plan. Yeah, and, and follow that. I, I would think you'd also briefly would have a problem with some people that get successful with having a plan and then they, they revert and stop having a plan. Do you see that too? Yeah, you do every now and again. Uh, it's that confidence and uh, confidence is so vital in a trader, but overconfidence is not. And uh, the plan will stand you in good stead for many, many years. I mean, the plan evolves, it changes, markets change. We adapt, we're very adaptable, very flexible uh, human beings. Um, yes, we have to evolve that plan, but the overconfidence, the I'll be okay now, I really don't need a trading plan. That's probably, I think uh, throughout history, we've seen a number of key uh, well-known people who have probably moved beyond the trading plan, have blown everything and, uh, and wondered why. The trading plan, uh, I'm, I'm just a big advocate of having a plan and sticking to it. Great. Thank you very much, Stuart. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the moneyshow.com video network.